I want to show you real quick how to take out the hard drive, which this would also apply if you were trying to put in RAM or new hard drive into the Lenovo, the Lenovo Idea Center A720. It's an all-in-one. Uh, basically, the computer is at the bottom, the monitor is at the top. So here we go. Now there's a bunch of screws on the bottom. The only ones you need to take out are the ones on the corner here. Basically, all the screws except for the mounting screws for the monitor. So this screw, this screw, this one this one this one this one and that one so you want to take those out now once you take those out simply lift your computer back up remove the top plate and right here you basically have your laptop hard drive so this is your hard drive. If you need to upgrade to RAM, the RAM's right here. You just pop it out, replace it with laptop RAM. You may not know this, but these all-in-one computers are pretty much nothing more than a laptop with a huge screen. Um, you got a laptop grade CD-ROM, laptop grade motherboard, a little heavier duty CPU fan and processor, laptop RAM, and once again, laptop hard drive. So we're going to take out the hard drive because uh, this customer is actually replacing this machine with a laptop and this computer will not boot up into windows without crashing and so he was unable to copy his data onto a flash drive and transfer it over to a laptop so he brought it to me i'm just going to simply remove the hard drive plug it into my tech machine over here plug it into my tech machine over here And yes, if you don't know, SATA drives are what we call hot swappable, meaning you do not have to turn off the computer in order to turn them on. And so now what you do is on your computer, right click, go to manage. Now my tech machine, for those of you who notice, is still Windows 7 because Windows 7 gives me more rights uh, to do things with other hard drives whereas with Windows 10 and Windows 8 they started to lock things down to make it more secure but I have found using Windows 7 makes for a better tech computer I can get things off easier so now I'm just in uh, disk management I'm going to go to action up here at the top once it wakes up the problem with having a tech machine is they are not you know they are a beat up machine that's used for Scanning hard drives and all that. So anyhow, we're gonna get a rescan disk here in a second. And usually you can tell because down here it'll pop up saying found new drive. There it is, installing new drive. This person's hard drive will show up here. There it is. There's all their partitions. So now I'm just going to copy their data from here, assuming I can read the drive and transfer it onto a, okay, well it hasn't showed up in here yet. Okay, it's saying uh, there's an issue with this disk. I want to go ahead and scan and fix so that when I transfer the files off, I will have them in their entirety. And so this is a rather long process, so we will check back once this is done. Hypothetically, I don't have to go through all that effort, but, um, you know when you're transferring someone's data off it can be time consuming and you only want to do it once so why not just take a little bit extra time let it do the check disk with repair so that whenever you do get the data off it'll be in its entirety um, and hopefully you won't have to go back in and find something that didn't get copied all the way The world's getting back to where it used to be. My office is right next to the main thoroughfare and every single day before the COVID-19 happened around this time, someone would be driving home from work with their systems bumping. Today's the first day I've heard him drive by since this all started, but I want to give you an update and plus I need to finish this video and that is the uh, removal of the hard drive from the Lenovo all-in-one system, <laughs> which is right here. Um, we've already talked to you guys how to take this off, how to pull the hard drive out, how to put a new one in. This is also where you put your new RAM in. If you need to replace your CD-ROM, you can do it here. But 
so for those of you looking to remove the hard drive, replace the hard drive, put in a solid state or add more RAM, that's how you do it. For the sake of this video, we got into data transfer. Um, I completed a data recovery, took two days, and now I have started to transfer the 85 gigs worth of data to his hard drive. Obviously, he won't need 85 gigs. Unfortunately, when you do a data recovery, a lot of times it just dumps all the files into random folders, and so then you gotta go through them manually and parse them. So once I've run searches for all his photos, documents, PDFs, spreadsheets, QuickBooks files and all that, move them to where we want them, everything else will get deleted. But it's a long process, that's why data recovery costs so much. But anyhow, um, that's it. He's, we got his data safe. You know how to add a hard drive or RAM to your Lenovo all-in-one computer. And I can get these computers off my bench and get this video up for you all to see. Have a good one, stay safe. Please click like and subscribe if we helped you out in any way. Please let us know in the comment below. If you're having problems, please help in the comment below. If you look at the video we did about the Microsoft Office key code, there has been a lot of comments, a lot of questions, and we've helped a lot of people. So thank you guys so much. Sorry I'm looking at a computer. I gotta hit next on a Windows 10 update uh, setup. Going on here, we're multitasking, super busy right now. I got one, two, three, four, five servers. I mean, five computers and a server on the bench. Gotta get back to work. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We'll see you next time. This has been a Digital 410 production. <laughs>